I'm learning about life The closer I'm feeling to death Yeah, reality cuts like a knife Feels better than playing pretend How can we decide between what's right and what is human being When your heart is battling your mind It's hard to justify your feelings Losing sight of what's important Good decisions get distorted When behavior... That doesn't look very good Good morning and Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome back to the Cinder Bros YouTube channel. My name is Josh. That is Damien. And Damien done fucked up. Sent it a little too hard. Yeah. I guess he sent his Jeep into a ditch a little bit too hard and uh, kind of busted up the radiator a little bit. And. Is that like the radiator support down there or something? Uh, yeah, that's the radiator mount. Yeah, sent it a little hard there, uh, bud. Yeah. Busted your a little bit. But, thank God we have my handy dandy toolbox with stuff in it to fix it with now, so. So I guess the plan is eventually go to buddies and do a and radiator and what We're else? We're gonna go on an adventure today, bud. Yeah. So you need the radiator, uh, radiator fan, fan, and possibly a bumper if oh. there's a nice enough one. You see the bumper? Oh yeah, there's a bumper over here. Busted it up right down there, pretty good. All the dirt, and, yeah. Good job there. Damn, you need some tires, bud. Yeah. It's looking a little bald right there. Well, the other ones are good. That one's... Come on. I could use a little help. All right. <laughs> okay. Look at that. That's how you hit something. Well, I hit the, like, into the ditch. Yeah. So I'm glad I hit that first and it didn't, like, really f*** up the fan. Like, your fan looks a little, uh, torqued there, too. Unless it's supposed to be, like, It's supposed there. to be spaced. I just, the, can't tell if this one is turned more. Oh. You know what I mean? I mean, it looks alright to me. I just didn't know if it was supposed to be like that far apart. Yeah, right yeah no, they space it like that. Okay, so now that all that's done, next objective, go to buddies, get a new radiator, new fan, and possibly bumper. But I mean, it's not too expensive. Yeah, hopefully that they don't charge an arm and a leg for it. Okay, we found a Jeep for the fan. Still haven't found a V8 though for the radiator, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I'm sure we might come across one somewhere. It happens to be the same color too. Damien. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the same. So, I'm just gonna tear this apart and get this fan out of here. So yeah. Okay, we got the fan out. Now the mission continues to find the stupid radiator. Hopefully we can find one somewhere along these parts. So no radiator. Um, I guess he's just gonna order one online or something. Yeah. Probably, most likely. And then uh, we'll wait for that. But we just got the fan for now. But now we're trying to put new uh, terminals on my truck because it was pretty corroded on the positive one. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. All right, y'all. 
we got the terminals done and they look pretty good the terminals on the truck and it is the next day because obviously like every other time things go way longer than we expect them to I said how things go way longer take way longer than we expect them to like always you know but today we're hoping to go to a different salvage yard and find radiator but for now we're gonna try to straighten this out some more because we got it a little bit straight but we just gotta push it down a little bit yeah, and I just tried. I mean, it might not straighten out more until we pull it forward. I don't even know. If, should we even pull it forward now? Yeah, because look, this is where it needs to be. Yeah. That's where it is. Alright, so how are we going to do this? That's a good question. A little more. A little more. Okay, 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 okay. Did it go? A little bit, yeah. It actually looks pretty straight. Not gonna lie. Moves it forward almost an inch, bro. Yeah. That's probably about as good as you're gonna get. Don't over push your luck now. Cause then it might fucking snap off and then that would not be good. All right, so update. Then I think we still we got a new radiator ordered it should be here in a few days so but for you guys it'll be a few seconds um so i guess for now we're gonna tackle these steps get these steps off this truck and then that will probably be all for today until we get the radiator so let's do it to it all right, y'all, I got one side off. I think it looks pretty sweet without the steps on it. It's a little bit higher up. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside and eat this burrito right quick. And I'm gonna come out here and do this other side. So, be back in a minute. Alrighty, all steps are off. She looks a little taller. Looks good though. I like it. I'm happy with it. Now we just gotta wait for the radiator for Wednesday to fix the Jeep. Poor thing. All right, you guys. It's been a few days. The new radiator's here. It is now Wednesday and it freaking snowed. So, uh, we have to go get the antifreeze for the coolant. Oh, it's dark it in this dark. part. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there we go. Good old misery, man. Five o'clock. Yeah. Dark it's snowed. It's super snowy. It's freaking cold. So we're going to go get coolant and then push the Jeep in the garage. Alrighty. We got the coolant out of zone. Get in the zone. I didn't just throw nothing around, okay? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I put it away off of my box. Look at all the pretty lights at Bass Pro. Yeah, if anybody's ever been to Springfield, Missouri, that's about the, probably the best thing about it. Bass Pro. Don't get much better than that. The original Bass Pro. First. With the big ass aquarium. They just got done building for the wonders of wildlife. They always do so much Christmas lights every year. All right, we're back in the garage. Got the tools, everything. Got the space cleaned out for the Jeep. Damien's still organizing. You think he's gonna swap all the little parts off the other radiator onto this one 
the new one. And then we'll get the Jeep in and get cracking. Look at them wrenches. See, look at that. That's a beautiful wrench. Oh my gosh, bro. That could not have been... More perfect? Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. I f***ed that up. Look at that. No, because we need room to stand right here. I know. It's all right. I we know. want as much room as possible. Oh, wait, no, you're talking about the fucking beam in here. Okay. Yeah, beam. Yeah, no. So, I guess next step is just get that set up. Well, actually, I have to take this off. You have to take what off? If you want to help me with that, that means that these bolts need to come off here so that this can come out and these two screws need to be loosened. All right. Gives you that real old school, like home improvement show vibe. <laughs> like, all right, now that we're this far into the build, we're going to walk you through what we did. <laughs> Jeep again. Uh, Damien's wonderful zip tie job here. It's like through that zip tie and watch out. Yeah, it's just wonderful. So he's gonna do the same thing here. He's gonna loop one through that and then undo the screw. And, I mean, hey, just just send it, bro. You know, like. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> <clears throat> Pan black. Yeah. yeah, but it's starting to look like a Jeep again. Yeah, I'm just going to have a flipped up front end. That's okay. It'll get you where you need to go. Oh. next part headlights actually i think we're gonna do a couple more zip ties in some places since it's all broke everywhere and then um hopefully get it slapped together and get some fluid in it all right time for the anti-freeze Truth. Gonna crank it up.
wash underneath and stuff, Josh. Oh, I will. Peace out.